Good morning guys, it's a new day, a new video, and I know it's been a while, but I felt like making some bread today, and so I said, hey, why not? Let me take you guys along with me. And I think I've said it before, guys, but my process is so easy, and so that's why I don't mind making bread. I love making bread. One time in my life, making dough was a headache, and there was absolutely no way. But my new process of making bread or any kind of dough is so easy, and so I'm just always so excited about it, and I really want to share it with you guys today right so let me show you first I'm gonna introduce to you my favorite part of this whole process the thing that actually changed my life this right here is my baby okay this is the, the part that makes the process very easy for me okay so this is a food processor and if you don't know about food processors food processors can do so many things okay so this baby can do it all okay from cutting slicing dicing shredding and my favorite part of it all making dough yes it can make dough too and so that's what i'm going to be showing you today my process of making bread and how this food processor makes my process so much easier so let's get to it all right guys so here we have my food processor this is the bottom part of it and as you can see this is the oster brand you can find this very same food processor at courts for a very reasonable cost that's where i bought mine and that's where you could find yours too okay so you put this on it has a safety lock so you put it on and you have to lock it there just like that then you put this part in everything is detachable so that you could clean it properly so we put this part in um and on that you can put the different blades that comes with it right so we have this one and this one so this blade is my favorite blade this is a dough blade it's made of plastic and so it's not cutting anything it's literally just there to mix it and make the dough for you and so you put this one in and that's the one we're going to be using today all right so first i'm going to put in my flour i use three and a half cups of flour i use four tablespoons of sugar one entire pack of yeast and then i put one and a half teaspoon of salt and so here i have all my dry ingredients and i like to mix that first before i go ahead and add the wet ingredients all right so it doesn't take too long and then i'm just going to open this right here so that i could pour in my wet ingredients now for the butter i only use three tablespoons of butter so here we go close this back and mix again all right so there you have it now i'm going to add my milk i'm going to pour in the milk while it's mixing all right and when you see it starts to create the ball that's it you don't need to mix it too long okay just gonna throw it in the bowl all right so here i have my dough this is directly out of the food processor so it's already made the dough for you so i would just turn it into a ball now and then i'm gonna leave that to set there all right guys so i'm finally back so let's get to it so as you can see, the dough raised beautifully. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to transfer this into my pants. Roll this tightly. Now I'm gonna cover it and we're gonna wait. All right, look at that. You could see that it has already raised up. Now let's check it out. Wow, look at that. All right, so now I just have to light the stove and get it warmed up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put these in there now, my stove, guys. I just wanna talk a little bit about this stove. I've had this stove for a little bit now, and of course you could find this right at Quartz as well. This one has been amazing. I love this stove because the oven, it bakes beautifully. And of course the top is amazing as well because it's so spacious and that's what I love about it. All of my pots and pans can fit on it at the same time and i really appreciate that i love that about it but yes so now the oven is warmed up enough so i'm gonna put the loaves in and i'm gonna be back in a little bit to show you the results all right so here we have our bread 
let me cut into one and look it's you don't even need much pressure if it's still warm bread as you can see it's baked thoroughly so now it's time for me to taste it mm. it's so soft and this is just a a really really easy sandwich bread recipe and it has a lot a lot of flavor it's so nice warm soft and crispy on the outside as well it's so good so let me know what you think and if you would try this recipe down below don't forget the food processor and the oven can be bought right at court so head on over get yours and try this recipe out because you're not gonna regret it trust me it's so good thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>